in our previous session we have seen what is layout what is view start file and what is view imports file we have understood the purpose of all these files let's implement these files as part of our, of our application inside views folder let's add a new folder over here and name it as shared folder inside this shared folder let's create a new layout by going to add new item let's select asp.net core inside this web here you can see <coughs> layout okay razor layout you can select this laser layout over here and click on add button so underscore layout.cshtml file got created and here you can see that at the rate render body can be seen inside this body tag so what is this at the rate render body this at the rate render body will be replaced by the view whatever the view we are specifying and mapping the layout for it that particular view will be replaced over here okay so as part of this layout we have to create a view start file so that asp.net core will understand which layout has to be rendered and what is the view corresponding to it which has to be displayed on our web page so inside views folder let's add a new item that is razor view start and click on add button now here you can see that underscore view start.cshtml file got created and we have placed this inside our root directory that is views directory okay so and if you observe over here the layout which we are specifying over here is underscore layout underscore layout points to underscore layout.cshtml right so whatever the name we are specifying underscore layout.cshtml the same name has to be provided over here and that this value has to be assigned for this layout so that asp.net core automatically it will recognize it will look for the view start file it will look for the uh, corresponding layout name which we have specified over here and that layout will be executed and it will and it will be displayed on our web page and corresponding to this layout we have to map the uh, view here you can see at the rate render body which will be replaced by the view right that view will be replaced over here so that view will be displayed on our web page now after implementing this underscore view start.cshtml next point which what we have to do is we have to make necessary changes to our view what is our view list.cshtml this is the view which we had created previously right so here we have to make necessary changes what are the necessary changes here you can see we can get rid of all this generic content uh, see every view we need not write the html tag as well as this head tag all this html basic html static data we need not repeat again and again each of our views so to avoid that only we have created this underscore layout.cshtml which already has predefined html tags and predefined static data over here we can just provide the required content which has to be displayed on our web page over inside our list.cshtml that is our view okay so let's do that now what we will do we will just get rid of all this basic and uh, static html content over here okay so we can get rid of all this html okay we can get rid of html and just let's just realign this so that it will look better okay and just realign this And corresponding div tag where we have specified razor expressions over here to display our content okay here you can tab it here as well okay now you can see we have completely got rid of the html content that is a basic html content which we are displaying as part of you every time we are creating a new view we should we should not add all the html static content over here so to avoid that we are making use of this underscore layout dot css html okay 
we have made we have just got rid of all those html content now now what is the next step is every time we are creating a view we are specifying using at the rate model and we are coming from the project itself root of the project that is grocery store dot view models dot grocery list view model so instead of using the entire absolute path that is complete path of this grocery list view model we can make this generic path for this particular path that is grocery store dot view models let's create a generic path by creating a new file that is imports file so that every time we are making use of a new view we need not write explicitly the entire path over here of that list view right of that view model every time we are going to add that view model as part of view we need not write the entire name explicitly entire path so to avoid that let's create a new file inside our views folder go to add new item here now you have to select razor view imports okay and click on add button now you can see underscore view imports dot html file as part of this file you have to specify the generic path which we are going to use for our view models what is a generic path by making use of at the rate using you can specify the generic path that is grocery store dot view models this is how we can specify the generic path over here and we can reuse this path every time we are going to import our view model inside our view right we did not write the explicit path every time we are using so inside our view let's get rid of this grocery store dot view models okay you can directly specify groceries list view model over here so that automatically asp.net core will know where it has to look it will go to view imports file it will check for this generic path and it will append the required view model which we have provided inside our view so that it will render correctly whatever is required okay that is how as part of this layout whatever the data which we have specified on our web page which has to be displayed as part of this view will be included and it will be replaced inside at the rate render body okay this is and we are mapping this by making use of insert underscore view start file we are just mapping that layout to the corresponding name of the layout so it will look for that and it will replace the view inside render body and it will display on our web page that's it so this is these changes we have done at an architectural level so that our application will be more like more efficient and we will know exactly where exactly we have to change whenever we are adding more files more views more controllers and we need not add every time the complete explicit path inside our view and we can get rid of all the static html content over here and we can place inside this layout right this is how we can make it look better our application will look better so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and share this video kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos Click on that bell icon so that you will start receiving notifications whenever I am uploading a new video.